Nerd. Nerd. Woo! Oh, and good timing on stream elements posting the Jeopardy link. All right. <laughs> so, we, uh, one of the questions that I always ask on this is, uh, hey, uh, what's your favorite bird? And, uh, so, are so, uh, you trying to use that answer to give the bird of the day? Well, uh, Ben Tai said his favorite bird was Carvis Twig. Well, we already did, uh, <laughs> we already did bird of the day Carvis Twig, so yeah. we can't do that. Uh, Luna said, I asked her what her favorite bird was, and she said it was a cacapo. I already did the cacapo. A cacapo is a great bird. And then I asked Lampy, what's your favorite bird? And she said, chickadees! Wow. Yes, yeah, that's yeah, we're uncovering yeah. a chickadee. Yeah. Now, a little borb. now when I say the North American chickadees, um, that's not actually a species of bird. It's uh, a collection of birds. Uh, oh. Chickadees is actually not one species of bird. There's a whole bunch of different oh. kinds of chickadees. So let's learn a little bit more about them, shall we? A category of mm. birds. So uh, we're going to start at the bottom on this one. So um, obviously these ones are passiforms. And in the passiform obviously. family, they are in the family Paridae, which is more commonly known as tits. Yep. Oh, hey. Chickadees yeah. are little tits. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> now, their genus... Their genus has uh, about 18 different species of bird, um, seven of which live in North America. The other 11 live over in uh, either in South America or in the Eurasian area. But those ones are all referred to as tits. Only the ones in North America are referred to as chickadees. And so there are seven species. The most common one that we see in media and stuff and what you probably think of when you think of chickadee is the black-capped chickadee. Then we got the boreal chickadee. They're more northern Canadian chickadees. The Carolina chickadee, which is going to be mostly on the east coast and the south. The chestnut-backed chickadee is kind of a uh, southern, uh, southern and mid, you know, middle of the country plains chickadee. The gray-headed chickadee, uh, you're going to find them um, kind of more on the uh, west coast. The Mexican chickadee is down in Mexico, obviously. Uh, the mountain chickadee is the ones that you're going to find in the uh, kind of in the Rocky Mountain regions. Now, here's the thing is that um, there's actually a lot of overlap from where a lot of these ones live. Uh, the most widespread of all of them is a the black capped chickadee. Basically, between the Rocky Mountains and the East Coast, you can find those fellas there. Although they don't go too far north, but uh, they just kind of get dipped in into the uh, southern parts of Canada. So, yeah. Lots of different kinds of chickadees, but the thing is, they're all very similar. They just have kind of slightly different coloration patterns, slightly different behaviors. But for the most part, you look at them and you're like, ah, oh, it's a chickadee. It's a chickadee. So yeah, they're usually going to be about 4.7 to 5.9 inches long. So little birds, little birds, little tiny birds. I mean, 6.3 to 8.3 inch wingspan. So not not a super big wingspan. But I mean, come on, we all we all know chickadees. Who doesn't know a chickadee? I mean, they're they're one of the most ubiquitous North American birds. Um, yeah, I know many chickadees. Yeah. So weighing 0 0.32 to 0 0.49 ounces, very small, light birds. And the males are going to, on average, be about 10% larger than the females. But, uh, you know, that's just the average, yeah. And uh, a nice surprising thing is that uh, these uh, little fellas, uh, the, the oldest one that was ever banded lived 12 years and 8 months. That's a pretty good wow. lifespan for a little chickadee. Um, yeah. But they, uh, they're, the lifespan that most of them are going to live up to is going to be, if they reach adulthood, then they're usually going to live to be six or seven years old, which is not bad for a bird of this bad size. Either. Not bad. Yeah. I mean, obviously, they do have the same issue with a lot of little birds is that uh, most of them do die in their first year of life. But that's just the way it is for a little bird. Yeah. But yeah, Big they're, but for a small little tit, they actually are some of the longest lived ones. So, um, now the, uh, uh the, uh, chickadee, um, can be basically kind of identified. They got their name because of apparently that's what people thought that their one of their songs sounded like. And they kind of have two sounds. Uh, I'm going to play a little audio clip of what the chickadees all sound like. So here we go. Let's listen up. Uh, yeah, that's like a chickadee, and then that little dee doo, dee doo. Oh. That's that's a chickadee. Oh. That's them as well. Oh. Yep. So the 
the dee doo. That's kind of them calling to other chickadees in a pleasant one. But the dee 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 dee. That's uh. An alarm. That one is an alarm one. Mm. And uh, oh. here's the interesting oh. thing about their alarm call. The uh, number of uh. Thanks for watching and have a great. Day. Oh, shut up. Sorry, I was playing a YouTube video. Uh, but anyway, their alarm call, the the chicka dee 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 dee. Um, the more dee 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 dees at the end of it, the more threatening they perceive the threat. So if they do it with just one, it means hey, everything's good, no no threats. If they do like two or three, it's like hey, there's something nearby that I don't quite trust. If it's four or five, it's oh shit, there's a predator. Get like if they do five, that usually means there's an owl that's been spotted nearby. The sky is snakes. Oh, yes. Um. The number one predator of chickadees is owls. Owls like a little chickadee as a snack. Um. But they do do find themselves to be prey to basically anything that'll eat small birds, which includes a lot of larger birds. Um. You know, some ground animals can get them, but you know, chickadees are usually, you know, too smart to get caught by a ground animal. <laughs> Terrifisio, yeah, this is a 4D level threat. Yes. <laughs> I like yeah, that. But it's a sad thing when you get hooters going after tits. Mm. Oh, yes. Really yes. Like we don't want hooters yeah. going after tits. Luckily, they don't have to deal with boobies. Yeah. It's true. Totally yeah, different environment. Too complicated. Yeah. Too, yeah, I can't follow that action. I really can't. Um, but yeah, I think one of the reasons that chickadees are so beloved is that they're actually friendly and curious around humans. They, uh, they tend to enjoy being in suburban areas. And, you know, they're going to be a little bit hesitant towards humans, but they're not going to be like, they're not super scared. They're not, you know, they, they'll, they'll keep their distance, but, you know, they're quite visible. Usually you can get kind of close before they run away. And sometimes if you're even at, like, an outdoor restaurant or something, they'll come right up to your table and grab food off the, off the ground, you know. They'll get what they can. Um, they will eat just about anything, but uh, insects are their favorite thing. They like little worms. They like little grubs. Oh, tasty grubs. They all oh, tasty grubs. Uh, little ants, you know, little, little insects. That's your favorite food. Uh, but in the winter time, obviously, not as many bugs around, and they don't migrate. So they got, they got, they got to survive in the winter. And there's not a lot of bugs to eat in the winter. So they're foraging for seeds and stuff. So uh, you want some chickadees in your yard in the winter? Put out a feeder, because the hmm. chickadees will be very happy with you, and you're gonna see a bunch of chickadees by. Uh, Having out a nice feeder full of lots of little small seeds. They'll, they'll love you for that. And uh, yeah, you should. Because then you get to see some chickadee friends. But yeah, it's kind of interesting that uh, in the in the, uh, in the the wintertime, they, uh, they all migrate. They're just like, well, I'm just going to stick around this cold area. We like it here. Uh, but they will then flock up very big flocks in the wintertime. And they'll, uh, they'll, they'll do some of the... Uh, the mixed flocks, so they'll uh, hang out with some other small birds that don't migrate, and hang out for safety and warmth. But then in the summertime, they pair off. Uh, they are monogamous for a season, but after one year, they're just like, eh, "I'm gonna go find someone else." Bye. And uh, <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, they've they've done genetic testing, and they they've they found that uh, when a lady chickadee has a clutch of eggs, it's pretty much a different father every time. But yeah, hmm. it's, it is what it is. Um, they usually only have one clutch a year, but sometimes they will have a second one, especially if, uh, if early in the, if early in the, uh, season something happens to their nest and they lose their eggs, then they'll, they'll attempt a second one. Um, but usually if it's, uh, I said monogamous for a season, Tariff, not, not for... <laughs> Forever. Yeah. It could be a long season. Because, uh, well, what happens uh, during the season is once the uh, once the lady has chosen a male, uh, he'll stick around, and so when she's incubating the eggs, he'll go out and find food, and he'll he'll bring her he'll he'll go he'll bring her some drive through. You know, he'll oh, go. Nice he'll be like, what a, what a, I found this uh, bug for you. Here you go. She's all like, ah. get, she's all like, get in that kitchen and make me a sandwich. And he's just like, okay. Yeah, yeah, and uh, <laughs> so yeah, the. Uh, if the females just kind of stay there and, you know, tend to the nest, tend to the eggs. Uh, and then the males will feed her. But then also when he's not gathering food, he will stand guard at the nest and kind of defend his territory and do his little chirps to keep people away and tell other chickadees, hey, this is my spot. Yeah, my spot. This is my spot. 
and uh, they they kind of learn. They kind of learn. That's what that peeper, you know, that one. That's just mm. kind of them saying to other chickadees, "This is my area. Go away. <laughs> I have babies here." Um, and then once the babies are born, uh, both parents will go out and find food and feed the babies and teach them to fly. And then usually after about four weeks, babies are kicked out and said, good luck. <laughs> See ya. As they should. Yeah, I mean, well, that's actually right. pretty true for most small birds. After when they're a month old, they're independent and off they go on their own. And it's wow. just like, good luck. You know, do, they mature very quickly. The, the bird gangs like the, like the, the pet do in Adelaide? Uh, a little bit, but not, not so much. Um, mm -hmm. Usually, so like they're going to be born in like May. And then they're kind of go off and be independent in June and so then July and August. They'll, they'll spend a little bit of time around where they were born, um, but they'll be mostly solitary, maybe, you know, in small little groups. But then uh, but then winter, they'll find a flock and they'll flock up in the winter time. And then usually it's uh, when they're a year old, they're ready to have their own babies. So, yeah, very good. Um, but uh, the... Uh, well, especially the mountain chickadee. Now, all of them have done this a little bit, but none is quite as skilled as the mountain chickadee. They have been known to have vast stores of seeds that they'll, like, gather up food during the late summertime and make little stashes of it and, like, remember where it is through the entirety of the winter. Um, they found that, like, one particular one had, like, a, like had stored, like, over 80,000 seeds and was just, like... <laughs> Hey, he's a busy, a busy little bird. What a hoarder. Yeah. Super saver. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I mean. He's going he's to, I bet he stuffed his face like a, like a king during the winter time. Yeah, he's like, winter is coming and I am a doomsday prepper. So I shall right. have my bunker full of canned goods. But hey, worked out for him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as you said, chickadee is a very popular bird and so much so that Massachusetts and Maine have both decided to make the, uh, Specifically, the black-capped chickadee is their official state bird. And uh, I haven't actually been able to find too many instances of chickadees in pop culture and movies and TVs and stuff, except for our little friend there, Chickadee E. The Chickadee is one of the Christmas critters from South Park. I can oh. give you oh. give you one citation. I remember uh, growing oh. up uh, reading a uh, science magazine for younger children named Chickadee. It was the um, younger version of Owl Magazine, which was a science ah. magazine for more middle oh. middle age reader middle, middle range readers. Cool, so, yeah. interesting. Yeah, and some of the mascots actually were um, a trio of chickadees, a little little chickadee kids. Oh, very nice, very nice. We all love chickadees. I mean, they're they're just. I mean, so I mean, we're doing our final thoughts. I mean, they're, I have to really say, good bird. They are. They're such a great bird. They're I mean, as far as just like the little passiform songbirds go, they're they're definitely up there with my favorites. I I, I really like these little fellas. They're they're friendly. They're cute. They have a recognizable song. I mean, how can you go wrong? And even the name is cute, Chickadee. Yeah. I found out there's the mountain chickadee is actually somewhat native to my area of Las Vegas, so I can keep an eye out for it or care. Oh, nice. yeah. yeah, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think Everybody I Everybody can see some chickadees. I think I had it written chickadees down on the last page, but I didn't actually say it out loud. But yeah, there is actually some crossbreeding between them because they're they're similar enough. They're 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 different species, but they're similar enough that they can breed with each other. Oh, so, oh. cool. So sometimes, yeah, you will have a mountain chickadee and a black capped chickadee have babies together. Are they <laughs> able? Are there are their offspring able to reproduce? Or is it like horses and donkeys where their offspring don't reproduce? I think it's like horses and donkeys where the offspring are non-viable, unfortunately. Oh. So that's that's what is delineates them as a different species. But yeah, you know. mm -hmm. yeah, okay. yeah. It's a whole liger and mule situation. Yep. Interesting. Well, thanks for the follow, Blessy Doherty. Appreciate you stopping by and learning hey, about some birds. But yeah, uh, I think we can all agree, chickadee, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good oh, bird. Mm -hmm. Really Pretty love good him. Bird. Good bird. Such a good Mom, little chicken. cutie. Yeah, he's such it's a like, good little cutie. It's like the it's like the 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 polar opposite of the petrel. <laughs> uh yeah, yeah. Not uh yeah. not a lot yeah. in common with uh the old petrel there, I guess I gotta say. It's uh, different side yeah. of the track. Mm-hmm. 
very, very different birds. And pe yeah, it's like a lot of people like to lump different kinds of birds together as like kind of, oh, they're, they're both birds. So they're pretty much the same. It's like, come on. No, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't say like a lemur and a rhinoceros are that much alike, but they're both mammals. Are they not? No. Yeah. Wait, lemurs are mammals. Yeah, lemurs are mammals. Yeah. 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 Primitive monkeys, I believe. Hmm. Yeah, I think they're a primate. Yeah, yeah, they're they're yeah, close more closely related to monkeys than apes. But yeah, yeah, they're they're super cute. I like I like them. Anyway, uh, so uh, I think we're pretty good for this stream tonight, then. So um, I guess the only thing left is to uh do a oh, Gozimai is uh streaming. We should uh, oh. give her a little raid.